Hello guys, in this quick tutorial, we'll see how you can convert a rectangular PNG design into a tapered design for your Tumblr wraps. To do that, I'll open one of the rectangular image in Photoshop. Then, in the description of this video, I've dropped a link to a Photoshop action bulk mockup. Uh, just loading the action. To load it, uh, you'll go to Windows, Action, and then from here, click on that and click on load action then I'll send you this bulk mockup of action hit on open so you'll have bulk mockup action uh, the next step is uh, you see this is a background layer which is uh, the padlock is on the first step is turn off the padlock just click on this now uh, click on this tapered action and click on clear your design has been converted into a tapered design this is pretty simple uh, you can do that for all your design and now you can go ahead and save them into a PNG file. But we want to automate them and apply this tapering effect onto all of our image. Uh, in this patch, I have around uh, 88 image and I'll just show you how you can apply them on all 88 designs in an automatic fashion. Uh, once you change the tapering, go to file and save this file as a template file. So I'll just go to downloads and create a new folder. I'll name this tapered template and click on save. Make sure you change the format to Photoshop file. So we'll have Photoshop PST file. Hit on save. Now you can close this down. Now uh, go to plugins and start bulk mockup. Uh, on the bulk mockup, there are three options. The first one is PST template folder. Hit on this three dot icons and select this tapered template folder. Open. The next one is design file folder. Hit on this three dot icons. And then I have this 88 design. So I'll select this three designs FPQ folder, open. And then we have export folder. So I'll click on download, create a new folder and I'll name it as export tapered. Hit on open. Next, and just uncheck this process multiple smart objects. And from the resize method, will select can uh, fill canvas with stretch okay and on the settings i uh, will select pst template then export and in the export we will select files and we'll select it as png file we want it to keep as png uh, this looks nice naming is fine folders main and then i'll click on start generating so it will apply the tapering effect and it will save all the files applying the tapering. Just to show you the export location, uh, we have the export tapered. And you can take a look, the tapering is being applied onto the designs automatically. So this is how you apply the tapering onto all your designs in an automatic fashion. If you want to learn more about bulk mockup, visit bulkmockup.com. If you like this video, do consider subscribing. Also visit our YouTube channel where you will find more YouTube tutorials like these.